Despite COVID-19, the Virginia General Assembly came together for a special one day session and in the midst of it all, a dramatic scene at the podium. House Speaker Eileen Fillercorn fainted during the veto session. Her spokesman says Fillercorn is feeling better after being treated by paramedics. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens was at the Capitol today and has more on the session. Virginia lawmakers are meeting despite COVID-19 concerns, but it's not what you're used to seeing. Senators and delegates outside the Capitol walls. Check out these pictures from Delegate Marcia Price's Twitter account. The General Assembly came together for a one-day session. This one-day legislative session is to determine how to handle fallout of the coronavirus. House delegates are meeting under a canopy outside the Capitol, and the Senate is meeting at a giant event space just a couple miles away. I move that the bill pass. State lawmakers voted on a few key legislative items this afternoon. Delegates and senators are taking up Governor Ralph Northam's proposed changes to legislation passed earlier this year. Here's just a few. Delegate Ward, who represents part of Hampton, introduced a bill that increases minimum wage to $9.50 an hour, but that move is delayed until next May because of COVID-19. The House also accepted the governor's amendment to a bill that now provides rent and mortgage relief to people furloughed or not getting paid because of the pandemic. Any amendments that the House passes, the Senate has to pass as well and vice versa. And while lawmakers were meeting, protesters were outside the Capitol calling on the governor to reopen Virginia. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to see this. Regina Payton lives in Richmond. She's supporting her fellow Virginians as the battle over reopening states grows. A lot of people want to open, open Virginia, go back to work, do that, do what they love to do. In the meantime, it's lawmakers who are working despite the noise and despite coronavirus concerns. And it's the decisions they make today that will impact the economy in the coming months. In Richmond, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.